let me be honest with you. Most people don't fail at web development because they're dumb. They fail because they skip steps. They jump straight to React. They memorize syntax. They copy tutorials. And six months later, they still can't build anything without YouTube open. So if you want to actually get into web development, this is the path. For layers. No shortcuts. Think of web development like a pyramid. You don't start at the top. You earn your way up. Layer 1. Foundations. This is non-negotiable. You need to understand what a browser actually does, what a server is, what happens when you click a link, HTML isn't easy stuff. It's structure. Semantics. Accessibility. CSS isn't just styling. It's layout. Flexbox. Grid. Responsive design. If you can't build a clean, responsive page with no frameworks, you're not ready for the next layer. Your first real project? A simple personal site. Responsive. Deployed. Live on the internet. Not pretty. Just correct. Layer 2. JavaScript. Real JavaScript. Not React. Not Next. You need to understand variables, functions, arrays, objects, how the DOM works, how events actually fire, how async code works. If fetch function feels like magic, you're not ready. Your project here is simple but serious. A small app that pulls real data from an API. Handles errors. Updates the UI. If it breaks, good. That's where learning happens. Layer 3. Tooling and workflow. This is where beginners get exposed. Git. The terminal. Commits that actually means something. If your Git history says final fix. Really final. Oops. You're not thinking like a professional yet. Learn how to debug properly. Use breakpoints. Read network requests. Refactor your old projects. Clean them up. That's how real devs work. Layer 4. Specialization. Now. And only now you choose front-end, back-end, or full stack. This is where React or Node finally makes sense. Because now you know why things work, not just how. Most beginners fail here because they rush. They learn React syntax, but don't understand state, effects, data flow. Frameworks don't make you employable. Understanding does. Here's the truth nobody likes to hear. Your portfolio matters more than your resume, not 10 projects. 3. One solid static site. One interactive JavaScript app. One serious project in your chosen lane. Deployed. Documented. Explainable. If you can't explain your own code, either can the interviewer. Web development isn't about knowing everything. It's about stacking fundamentals until opportunities can't ignore you. So don't ask, should I learn React? Ask, can I build without it? Start at layer 1. Today, open an HTML file. Break something. Fix it. That's how this actually works. If this helped, like the video, comment what you're building this week, and I'll see you in the next one.